Hey guys, it's me again. Today we're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I package my orders. Today I have three orders, but I kind of already did one because like I didn't know I was gonna record the video, but then I was like, oh wait, let me do a video. So I'm gonna record myself packaging the other two orders. And um, I don't know if I ever show my business cards. I feel like I did, then I don't remember. So here are my cards. Look, oh, huh, self promotion. I am the owner of Noyes Mix. I sell lashes lip gloss and I also sell lip scrubs now if you go on my website it'll be right here you can get lashes lip gloss lip scrubs you can do wholesale I do wholesale lip gloss as well so yeah no I'm not selling my lash vendor my like, I'm not selling any of my vendors I will make lip gloss for you if you want me to be your vendor but I'm not gonna give away my lash vendor I'm wearing the lash style flirt this is currently our best seller and that's what someone ordered right now so gonna package this one up too but this is how it looks in the box it just says the last name inside of the box too so you know what last you ordered so you won't be confused and yeah Christmas collection does drop December I don't know the date yet but hopefully in the beginning of December and you guys are gonna love it cuz like I was really really I had to really think about this very well so yeah so today we're only gonna be doing two orders and I have my laptop here my website is made on Wix, so I have, oh y'all can't see, there you go. So I have two orders, oh no y'all can't see me, but the ones that are orange are the ones that are unfulfilled and all the blue ones are the ones that are fulfilled. My um launch was exactly a, two weeks ago or a week ago, I think it's, my launch was October 25th, so today's November 4th I don't know if that's two weeks one week. yeah I think it's two weeks so my website has been open for two weeks so far I've only made 10 sales which I'm very happy about because um I wasn't expecting to have a million sales I'm a small business right now so I wasn't expecting like a million sales but 10 is a lot to me and I'm really I really believe in my brand so yeah so we're gonna do this first one and she ordered my all my stuff is like i'm in college so like all my stuff is like under my bed and like crates and stuff but since i'm recording from my desk i already brought out the stuff that everybody ordered so she ordered a lash applicator and the lash style flirt so we're gonna mark it as fulfilled and send them a confirmation email and i've already printed out my shipping labels and everything because i don't have a printer like in my dorm so I would have to walk all the way to the library, but I went home this weekend. My mom has a printer, so I already printed out all the stuff like at home before I got here. So yeah. So in the package, here's the um the um shipping label. And another thing, people always say that Wix doesn't have a shipping thing, but it does. It's called Shippo, and it's free instead of paying for ship station where you have to pay like thirty dollars a month. Shippo is free. It only charges you five cents to print on the shipping label. And you can print from, you can use UPS, DHL, FedEx, whatever shipping carry you want. It only costs five cents. Instead of paying thirty dollars a month, you can only just pay five cents per label, which is really cheap. Because if you're paying thirty dollars a month and you're not even getting that many sales, you're really wasting money. Plus, you have to pay for your website too. So, Shippo is the way. But yeah, okay. So I have the shipping label right here, and I also print out a packing slip so they know what they ordered. Because some people tend to forget what they order. Like, me too, when I order stuff, I forget what I order. So, I like when they're shipping labels inside. The paper is really big, so I'm cutting it in half because um, I don't need the whole paper in there. So, for hers, since she has lashes, I have to use the 6x10 mailer because it's not going to fit in the other one. So, I'll put all my lashes. All my lashes come in these um, blue bags. And then get this card. I don't know if I show the card, but this is how my card looks. Yeah, so all everything comes with a business card. So then you get the business card. And she also ordered a lash applicator. So I'm gonna put that in here too. Because there's no point in getting another bag. 
and then you just tie it all together and it looks like that and then I slide it in the mailer just like that and then I take the packing slip which shows you what she ordered and I had free shipping this weekend so all the orders no one has to pay for shipping so I have to pay for which is okay because these packages aren't really heavy so the shipping isn't really a lot but on my website I charge by the weight so I don't overprice shipping like shipping's not like seven dollars it's only three dollars but it depends how much stuff you order like if you order like five lashes then it's gonna be like five dollars if you order like a lash it's only three so now we have the all the stuff in here and I got confetti now so we're just gonna put and I got this confetti from the dollar store. Yeah. So we're just gonna pour some of that in here to make it cute. And I kind of feel bad for like all the other eight packages I did don't have confetti in it, but sorry. I just started this today. So we're just gonna put some in there so it's cute when you open it. Packaging really matters. Like I hope this doesn't make it way more. Now, it looks like that. So then, I just take, peel the little sticky thing off. And then, fold it over. Oh, crap. Ah! Fold it over, and the package looks like this. And then, I take her shipping label, because, oh, I don't want to show her address. I would just tape it on there like that. Which I'm going to do right now so I don't mix up the packages. So I just cut off all this extra stuff. And the thing I love about my school is that in the mail room, you can drop off your packages there. And, oh crap. You can drop off the packages there and they take it to the post office for you. So I don't have to like drive anywhere. I just drop it off in the mail room at my school. And they go straight to you guys. But the mail room is closed right now because... It's 8 o'clock at night. But it's okay. Because I can just take them in the morning when I'm going to class. Okay, I cut this one really, really ugly. So now I'm just going to tape it on here. I didn't get that adhesive paper. Because I was being cheap. And you can just buy a, a whole 500 piece, 500 stack of paper for like $2. When the adhesive thing is like $5 for only 100 So I was like, yeah, we're just going to do regular paper for now plus it's not really that big of a deal to me as long as you guys get the packages to be honest that's all that matters and I like oops I should have left it bigger like the full sheet it would look better You guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just taping it on here. You can hear it though. So, looks like that. And I'm so happy I shipped from school. So, like, I have a. We have like mailboxes here. So, like, nobody knows like my actual address. Because if I was like in my house, I would have to put like my real address. Because I don't have like a, a P.O. box. And I would not really like random people knowing where I live. So I like pets like this. Oh my god. I did this tape so ugly. But as long as she gets the package. Okay. Package one down. We're done. And this is the previous one I did. She also ordered flirt lashes and she ordered a lip scrub. So I'm gonna take this one on here too, but I'm not gonna cut it because I don't know, does it look better when it's like the full sheet or like when it's cut? We're just gonna cut it again. So I'm not gonna cut it as close to it. Can't afford it. You work with what you got. Another thing people need to know is that when you start a business, you can't really think your business is going to do as well as the next person. Like, they may have started before you or they may have had 
like a bigger fan base or whatever the case may be you can't really compare your success to the next person you kind of just have to pray and believe in yourself and just know that you're going to do great in anything you do because for me like a lot of people when i came out with my lash line or it's not really a lash line that's what people don't understand just because i sell lashes doesn't mean that's the only thing i sell like if you would actually look at my website you see i sell other stuff but another thing is that a lot of people were talking like oh my god everyone's selling lashes now but it's like you can't really be focused about what everyone's doing you kind of just have to focus on yourself and what you're doing because you're not you're not doing it for anyone else you're doing it for yourself and i want to be a business owner that's like my dream owning my own business which is exactly what i'm doing now so i'm like really proud of myself and i do want to expand not from just like only like lip gloss and stuff i want to have lipsticks eyeshadow palettes like i'm trying to be like kylie jenner okay that's who i'm trying to be like but yeah here's the next package but i would never like compare my success or anyone else's success to mine because we're not the same person the next girl ordered all four of my lip scrubs so let me show y'all them so i have a cake batter scrub and it has it smells all of them are scented so this one smells like a cake then i have pink lemonade they smell so good like i want like sometimes when i'm using it i like i'd be like low-key almost eating it but these are edible too so and it just has my my logo brand everything remember to always brand yourself never send any product out without your name on it everything must be branded so pink lemonade then we have a lemonade swirl you can't really see you have to see from the top which is covered so yeah but it's half pink it's not half pink it's like lemonade and it's like a swirl of pink in the middle and this is cotton candy i just came out with this one it smells so good and like it's half pink half blue cotton candy so since there's um two i'm gonna put two in each bag because i don't want to um like overdo one and put two more. i mean four could fit but i don't know i think it's kind of cuter when it's two and then add my business card just like that so then there's two of them and i'm putting in a smaller mailer since it's, it's just these things inside and if you look on my instagram page at noise minks i always have some type of sale going on because it does having sales does bring customers because i feel like for me well if you have like a favorite website like my favorite website is like fashion nova i only like really really shop on fashion nova when there's a sale and fashion nova literally has a different sale every day like fashion nova always has sales and i feel like that's why they have so much like so many customers because there's like always a sale so yeah she ordered let me just cover her name so you don't know who she is but see she ordered one of every scrub so yeah thank you Ooh, that's too dark so yeah fashion nova always has a sale so i feel like that's why they make so much money because like there's something for everybody on their site and there's always a sale so you always gotta have sales so i'm just stick her packing slip in there so she knows what she ordered then put some confetti this is even smaller i'm not gonna put as much but just gotta make it cute oh my god there's confetti all in my drawer i'm just gonna stuff the rest in there since it's spilling everywhere okay so then just peel the sticker off then fold it over just like that <laughs> okay and then i gotta i have to like cut her pack and slip her shipping label really small since she, it's the four by eight mailers and i don't know if you can put tape on the barcodes but i'm like afraid to put tape on it 
So I'm just like, what if they can't scan it? So like, I kind of like avoid putting tape on it. But then I'm like worried it's gonna fall off or something. Okay, so for hers, this is gonna be kind of hard. I should have put hers in the bigger mailer. I mean, it fits, but like, it's it's gonna be hard to tape this on. I've gotta figure it out. So I don't know what else type of videos you guys would like to see. I'm trying to do everything. I'm probably gonna do um lip gloss making video hopefully but i'm not sure because i don't have any base right now and i'm debating if i should wait till i order my new tubes because guys i found these tubes that i haven't seen anyone else with and i'm so excited because i kind of like being different from everybody else i don't really like having the same stuff as everyone else like how everybody always has those 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 tubes with the pink top and like the little diamond on top don't get me wrong that tube is so cute but i just feel like everyone has it so it kind of looks like everyone's selling the same thing so, so i was so excited when i saw these tubes that nobody has and once i get these tubes i'm not telling anyone where i got it from because i feel like um like not bashing anyone that does have that pink tube but i feel like mocha p beauty was like the first i don't know if she was like the first but she's like the most known person to have those tubes so whenever i like see anyone else with a tube it just looks weird because it's like it's just like that's something she's had like since and i like how she like went back to her original tube but now it just looks weird because like the whole lip gloss community is like oversaturated with that one lip gloss tube so it's like that's personally why i didn't get that tube like don't get me wrong like i wanted it in the beginning i was like oh my god i have to get this tube but then plus even the pricing of the tube to me i don't i don't want to sell lip gloss that's like ten dollars because i feel like it's unrealistic who really i mean i feel like people support you they'll buy it but like for me personally i wouldn't buy ten dollar lip gloss so that's why i i don't make prices that i wouldn't spend personally like, my lashes are not above ten dollars because i would not pay more than ten dollars for lashes so I feel like I make everything cater to like how much money I would be willing to spend. So that's personally why I feel like some people don't make sales because you're selling $15, $20 lashes. And it's like, first of all, you're a small business. You're not Beyonce. And I'm not saying like everyone, people always say that, you know, you make your prices for what you feel like you're worth. And it's like, I don't think that I'm worth $10. I just feel like it's like more realistic price to pay for lashes but i mean there's always people that are going to support you that are going to buy it doesn't matter if it's 20 or 40 dollars someone someone that supports you is going to buy it but i just feel like you'd make more money if it was like less expensive so yeah here's how this one looks eh, it didn't come out that bad so yeah oh, i don't want to i don't think it's not going to show anyone's address from here but thumbnail so yeah Make your prices affordable for whoever, whatever um, area you're trying to reach. Like, I'm personally, I feel like my stuff is more for like teenagers, adults. I'm not really like catering to like little kids, so that's why I feel like my prices are affordable. But hey, if you're selling twenty dollars lashes, maybe you're catering to grown ass females, rich bitch shit. Maybe that's what you're doing. So you just cater to whoever you feel like you're selling to. Um, my Christmas collection is coming out. I can't wait for that. My birthday collection is going to be expensive because it's my, my birthday collection. So, yeah. But, yeah, other than that, that's all I really have to say in this video. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I will definitely bring it to you guys. It's Noise Life signing out. Peace. Am I lying when you're from Trap line when you're not dead. Am I lying when you're from